Thank you, Nick. And if you see one, kill it. That's what officials in both upstate New York and Pennsylvania have said about spotted lanternflies. And our 18 News reporter Carl Aldinger takes a closer look into these bugs' behaviors. So I'm pretty excited to talk about this today. This is a pretty serious issue that is facing um, upstate New York and Pennsylvania, obviously, the spotted lanternfly. Everyone's heard about them, and, you know, officials in both states are saying, if you see it, kill it. Yep. Um, I spoke with uh, our state inspector this morning, and one of the things that he pointed out was, you know, he gave me one of the brochures and said some of the the NIS a little bit, or some of the pictures that are being shown aren't exactly what you're going to see. In reality, you probably won't see the spotted lanternflies with their wings wide open like in some eye-catching photos. And their eggs may only look like a smear in the bark of a tree instead of a large mass. Plus, the bugs themselves don't actually fly that often. The problem of it is, is they actually don't fly like a moth or a butterfly. They actually are, they move like a grasshopper. Interesting. So when they're in flight, they're just doing real quick, mm -hmm. and they actually spend most of their time on their feet. Todd says that one of the biggest attractants for spotted lanternflies is the Tree of Heaven. The tree starts out small, but can quickly establish a strong and widespread root system. If it's on your property, Todd suggests cutting it down as soon as you can. But one of the biggest concerns is, is you know, they're starting to find them down in New York City mm -hmm. heavily. Um, they're finding them in the Binghamton area heavily recently. Um, and they figure they're, they're hitching a ride on the railroad cars. The Tree of Heaven grows best where soil has been disturbed. So all along the railroad yep. tracks, the soil is always kind of being moved because of the weight of the cars and everything. The New York Agriculture and Markets Department has also created traps that go around the trunk of trees and catch the bugs as they climb. If you see one, just, just leave it alone because it's there for a reason. They're just trying to track and, and find out what they got to do and, and when they're getting into certain areas. So. It could be a, it could be bad, so. <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna be. <laughs> so let's be proactive. Yes, let's be proactive. Reporting in Southport, Carl Aldinger, 18 News.